Well, hi guys. Paul here. PA Brew News. Painting with PA Brew News, episode 19. Now, here is a black and white painting I did yesterday before I went to bed, made out of just acrylic. Black and white acrylic. I was going to do a different style of painting, but the contact paper I had on all the moisture in the house was a little bit too much. It wouldn't stick to the painting, right? So I decided to ixnay that one. Now, what we have here is a painting style that you've seen me do before on one of the earlier episodes, like six or seven or eight in that area. Go check it out. It's about 54 minutes long, so you'll be able to see by that time signature which video it is. Just check out Painting with P.A. Bruno's. It'll all come up about 54 minutes. Now, that goes by step by step by step through the painting process to do these black forest paintings. These dark forest paintings are also super, super cool. Also noted, it's all about preference. I know there's a lot of light coming this way. I don't have a light this way right now, but it doesn't glare right now, so I'm happy with it. Now, it's all personal preference. You can leave this painting like this. If you think this is cra crazy, good, whatever, keep it right there. Hey, Craig, how you doing, brother? Keep the painting just the way you want to. You don't need to add anything to these if you want to. Once you feel that you're done, you're done. Now, I could leave this done. I'm going to add a little bit more to it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, like always. We'll see what I come. We'll see what kind of comes out. Now, right now, again, check out my other video to get a real good sense of what I did here. I didn't do this per standard the way you're supposed to do it. I was just in the mood. So before the black coating was even dry, I started slapping white around, mixing it into a gray with a one-inch brush. Then I got a little bit more white on the brush, clean brush, dabbed on some white. That gives you that kind of way, way background wood look. Then I took a small little brush like this, very small brush, started smearing through with black. Of course, it was mixing with the white behind you and stuff. It started making little trees. And even with these, so just big, just a couple different layers, big, a lot of globule of paint. If you can see, a lot of these had streaks of white on there because the further you want to get away from the light source here, the more white you want to add, incorporate to your trees because it gets a little bit more distant. The more black in the middle, that's where you want to put that. And then I just screwed around with a brush, hit here, hit there. So I swept up here, here, make a little sticks, little dooters. And I took a little brush, kind of wiped some black and white on here, made a little path or something. It's kind of form-fitting what you're trying to do, what you think you should do. And uh, honestly, it took me about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Well, how you doing? Oh, oh, hello. I hope you enjoy it. Um, like I said, it took me about 10, 15 minutes to really kind of lay out what I was doing here. I did the beer review yesterday, and I just kind of did this. It was... Uh, it was sitting here drawing that first black coat, and I said, you know, I'm not going to wait for it to dry. I'm just going to smear around and have fun and see it kind of come up with something. And, of course, you see the big tree in the middle. So right now, um, without all the talking getting done, oh, thank you very much. And, again, if you want to try this acrylic painting, acrylic painting is super fun and easy. You basically just use two tubes. Let me just show you. They're, they're real simple based acrylics. Black first, and then you start, start adding the mixtures of gray and white, adding as you go. Check it out again, uh, earlier painting. It was about 45 minutes long. Goes you through the whole steps of making these black forest paintings. Really enjoyable. I think everybody who wants to try this style of painting, try black forest painting first. It's super fun. Absolutely great. Anyway, so right now I'm going to get a little bit more. If you like the painting the way it is, again, I don't want to repeat myself too much. Leave it the way it is. I'm going to add more. First thing I did was I took a thin, I'll show you, I have a I'll show you what I'm using here, just so you can see it. Clear, liquid clear. Sometimes I don't show everything I use. So liquid clear, a very thin, repeat thin coat of liquid clear. Add it on with a brush, whatever you want to do. Then take a paper towel, wipe it down real good. What's left is perfect for what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to take a brush here, wherever the heck my brushes are, because apparently I don't know what I'm doing. All right, and we're just going to go right here. I'm going to go into some yellow ochre which is, or Indian yellow, sorry, yellow, uh, Indian yellow, which is a nice transparent yellow, and I'm going to find out where, I'm going to say right here is where my brightest spot's going to be. Start just kind of blending that in a little bit. 
doing its thing, having fun, good time. There you go. Now I'm going to go up into the corners with some crimson, and we're going to have a fun time. We're just going to start popping some of that up in here, right in the corners. And if you've seen me do this style with blue, you can really do this style with any color that you choose. Whatever you, you know, suits your mood, your desire, whatever. I'm going to try to do a little bit of an autumn painting with this one. So a little sunset, kind of like late in the day kind of forest right here. And so you can just bring that down and start blending it a little bit with that yellow that you have there. Just let it kind of dance around, have fun. I don't have any blue right now, but you can actually add a little bit of black if you wanted to to your to your red, just a little bit of black into your red. And then just throw that in the corners too, because you want the corners to be a little darker than the rest of your painting, just so it helps draw your eye into the center of the painting where you want it. So a little black on my crimson, just to darken up the edges, that's all. That's all I'm doing. And then again, bring it all down into your, into your yellow wherever doesn't matter blend it all through down here probably gonna mix a little crimson a little a little bit of crimson and a little bit of sap green together kind of dance it through here a little bit makes a nice brown color so a little darker brown color just to put some color around here So we have some little darker colors down in here. Blend it through. You don't have to do everything. Just whatever makes you feel good. Whatever you think is good. There you go. Something like that. And again, any point in this painting process you feel that it looks good, you can stop. You don't need to keep going. Beating my brush. Just because I'm going to go. I keep going. Doesn't mean you need to keep going. So... Of course, I'm knocking all my brushes over as I go. Of course, why wouldn't I? So right there, I'm gonna go back into this with a little bit of white. Just a little bit of white. And now I'm gonna find out, I like to do this. It's probably my one of my best parts of this. Uh, I do, will, will, let's say, I guess the point is, will sell these. I just have to get some people who wanna buy them. And then I'll give you my information, blah, 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 and we'll we'll work it out after that. But shoot me a message if you do want any that you see on the channel, because I have basically have all of them. Uh, the one we just did, the campfire one, is for a guy at work. But other than that, yeah, pretty much. Okay, find the where you think light's going to be zinging and zapping through all the woods here, probably in the lightest spot, that's what I'm going to say. So I'm just going to start doing this. And working out further and further out from the center. And we'll blend this through so it looks a little bit more uniform and not so smeary and streaky. And you can always just roll in a little mist and stuff that kind of works around your woods and has a little good time. A lot of mist in the woods there. Kind of ethereal a little bit. But I definitely, the main purpose of this is to, to diffuse that main bright spot there. That's what we're doing here. Diffusing. Diffusing light, being yeah, deep and deep and dark in the woods, looking through the, either the moon or the sun or whatever you want it to be like. A lot of times I think always think because I'm doing those nighttime ones, the blue ones I always think it's the moon. That makes me feel good, so make it the moon. You can make it whatever you want. Whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And you can make this as soft as you want to. Try not to go back into that bright spot though. Not with a dirty brush. It'll ruin it'll ruin what you're trying to do. Roll it around. Blend it. Take out your brush strokes and clean the brush. 
you had the Bob Ross style setup, I mean, this is the best part. You just beat the heck out of the brush. I do it on a, I do it on a pot inside of a little tote. Keep it, uh, keep it from spraying all over the place. And I still make it spray all over the place, even when I try not to. So just, just letting you know. Kind of just letting it do its thing there. through here, tap in a little bit of white sunlight, make a little, little streaks. And if you don't like anything, you don't, you just work it, work it, work it, and it'll just blend away. It'll just absolutely blend right away. Hopefully it looks a little diffused. Okay. All right, something a little bit like that. Now we're gonna work on a little bit of the darker colors, browns and blacks. Start building a little bit. Yeah, mix a mix a couple different colors, darker colors together, browns and blacks. Find find where you want to start because there's there's branches and trees all over this place and. Just start dropping. Dropping the idea of branches sticking all, all out everywhere and having a good time. You don't see everything, but there's a lot of stuff in the woods there. Know what this side left up? Don't get. I know sometimes it gets nice. You start getting carried away, but try not to cover up everything. You work all, work pretty hard putting some of this stuff in. So don't try to cover up absolutely everything. Put a little bush here. One that sticks up to the fog right here. Bush, a little dark bush that sticks, sticks out here, does its little thing. You don't care. There you go. Oh, right there. I think that we got something going on there. Okay. Clean the brush off a little bit. Let's see, kind of go into a little bit of a I don't know, crimson maybe? Crimson, a little dark color. Back to that crimson. Let's see about a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter color than that. I think I want to stay with the reds. But I want a little bit brighter color than that. If it doesn't stick real well, add the least, least a little bit of liquid white. Or paint thinner. There. there. You don't need to do everything. Don't kill all the dark that you're putting on there. Just let little parts of it shine through and have a good time. Nothing big deal. Change the color up if you want to now and again. Add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. There. Something like that. Maybe some of them have a little bit more brighter colors kind of zinging on them because of the sunlight. So tap that in there and there you go. Add a little bit of this. 
this to it. Same thing up here. Well, the other thing too is before I show you, before I forget, take a little liner brush, a little dark color, some of the dark colors that you're using, a little paint thinner, just to make it flow a little bit easier, and then you can always just dance in a little couple extra chunks and sticks. And there's one. Make the noises if you have to. It helps me. Okay. Also, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's a little funny, but having better brushes and not all these beat up brushes also works pretty well too, because I got a lot of, a lot of beat up brushes. A little stick that kind of here, through here, through here, there you go. I got a lot of beat up brushes. I got to think where your where your lights coming from. The lights coming from this way, so you want your highlights more on the bottom than the top. Just think about it. little drop, little things here, little twigs, little sticks, twigs and sticks. Whatever I just try to say there, sticks and twigs, sticks and twigs. I'd like a twigs right now. I'm on a diet, but I'd take a twigs. Pop up little dooders here and there. No big deal. The little bushes that you put in there might have little branches sticking up out of them. You can do that pretty easy. Okay, look that. Put that away. That's a real beat up one too. That's 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 had its ass kicked a couple times. So go back here. Maybe pick a little bit of white up too. A little white. Back into that red. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a that's a firecracker right there. I like that. That's what we call a happy accident right there. A little bit more paint there, just in case. Pull it through some of that white, crimson. I'm gonna go back up in here. Touch up some of these. up here. Ooh, that's a beautiful little bush back there in the right back in the mist. A little yellow in this one too. Things start working a little bit for me, and I start getting excited. I'm okay, just gonna dance that way. Ooh, bright colors right here. Probably darken that down just a little bit later. Press up some. You just press up a little bush here and there. It doesn't always have to be the same same way. Right there, I want to go a little darker. I want to add a little bit weirder, but a little bit of the green to this. I want to kind of darken it down. It's gonna be behind here, so. You can see a little bit dark color, a little bit of greens. Back here, same thing with maybe back here. You don't, you don't see all the crazy colors here. A little darker there. It's it's so much fun. You can see playing with all the lights and how the, the mist kind of walks around there, diffuses everything. Little dark colors there. Again, like you want to keep it. Keep some of that darkness in those corners. You can even go over another, actually another layer of darker leaves just to keep those corners nice and nice and dark. Not boring, you know, you want to keep things moving and having a good time, but keep them a little darker. Like that. Okay. Clean some of that dark color off the brush real quick. Back in some of my reds and yellows. 
which I need to get more of. So I'm run it out. Right here, then we can start bringing in a little bit of, little bit of grass here. Don't press too hard. Just let it. up, making like little bushes, duders, having a good time, oh, I'll be a little bit, there we go, a little bit more red right there, okay, tap again, excuse me if I'm in your way, like little soft bits of grass. Just let it touch. You don't have to. It'll it'll take what it wants. It'll give you back what it doesn't. Don't get violent with it. Just a soft touch. There. Oh, something like that. Okay. Beat the devil out of it like you're supposed to. There's a tree right here, and just to make it a little bit different, I'm gonna take a little bit of the dark browns, mix them together, blacks, browns, even a little bit of reds, and mix it all together, just a dark color, cut across, right here where it's not diffused, where it starts getting a little bit easier to see, and I can start giving this a nice little bit of bark. You're starting to be able to just see it out of the, all that bright sun up there, kind of coming through. Yeah, just to be able, oh, you know, you can just even touch up here, just to give it a little bit of a, the diffusion. Just what you can see, what you can't see. Branch here. Sticking out this way, kind of runs up there a little bit. There. Let it just again take what it wants and gives you back the rest. A little bit of that red color right here on the inside, kind of red, just to give it that, that little light playing around. Just around the, end, around the end there. Get a little bit more shape and form. Bring it all together. I think it's that's how I kinda like think about it. You gotta think about this, you know, how's it how's it gonna look and what's gonna be coming out and what'll stay. You, I can actually do the whole thing. I might even just do the whole thing. Sometimes, if you want to, to really set all that back, just bring it in here and just drop it all in. There you go. Do that too. Drop that. Drop that whole thing right here. There. Again, you want some dark color. I'm going to fill it in with the dark color. And I like the I like the little knife sometimes. You the big knives it's hard to really get in there, play around with the big big knives. Certainly hard to do the little stuff so much. There, that one. Go through, fill it here. You could use a brush to do this too. You don't need to use a knife. You don't need to use a knife. Anything that you feel that you that you're more comfortable with, that's what you should be using. I don't know how long I've been going on. I'm trying to make this one a little bit of a 
quicker one. I'm probably... Oh, thanks. Where are we at now, time-wise? I have no idea. Hmm. Ah, 25. Good. We're in the time limit. Now I'm just going to, like I said, take a little bit more red. And some red in there, too. Blend it up. White, red and white mixed together, marbly. Okay, and we're just gonna go around the side. Give it a little. You can go either side because the sun kind of bathed in this tree in the sunlight, so both sides are gonna have a little bit of white on it. Excuse my reach. Blend it and then just run down the middle. Blend it a little bit more together. Okay, pretty much getting close. Gonna just touch up. This guy. This guy. There you go. There. This guy. Get a little bit of darker color. Let's see. We'll just gonna... Clean him up a little bit. Just like that. Clean the brush off. colors here. Different, all the different, yeah, what the heck, go through all the different colors. I gotta use this up anyway, so might as well go to town a little bit. Tap them in. And just give this tree a little bit of a dip. Might have to reload your brush a few times, that's fine. Especially when you're doing a lot of different consistencies of oil. Because I think I've mentioned that before a few times that some of the oil that I'm using lately is nowhere near as consistently thick as the oil I'm used to using. So does definitely cause an issue with blending. Let's drop that in there. Let's put a little bush on his limb here. We'll just make the rest of them pretty much dead. He's had a rough life. Pop a couple extra bushes here. Maybe. What about here? Here. That's about it. We'll call that one done. Shake off the brush. Let's take a look. Go in some thin paint. And let's just Pop up a little stick, a little twig. And just let's not deuter it to death, so we'll just call that good. Hmm. 
Okay. I'll clean that off. And we'll call it good. Let's see where we're at. We're at, uh, hey, half an hour. Finally got it. Chris Armstrong. Hey, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Well, this has been another Dark Forest painting a little bit of a different style, more of the autumn style coming over here from uh, Painting with P.A. Bruners, episode 19. I, I like how that kind of came up. It has a very nice ethereal, kind of misty quality, a little bit of depth in there with the path coming through. And hopefully you guys really try this kind of style. It's real fun. It's something that I think a lot of amateurs definitely should get into because of how it's so, it's so building block the way you do it. That it's something that's, you know, a little bit more easy to understand. It's form fitted. Check out my video, my earlier video. I think it's like episode six, seven, eight in that area. It's 54 minutes long. It shows you step by step how to do these dark forest paintings. And again, it's a little bit different than I usually do. I usually do like a lot of blue, like moonlight paintings. This one's more obviously like a autumn sunset, kind of in the deep woods. So anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad for everybody, the new new watcher that was there for a while. Uh, if you have any other ideas or anything, or if you want to buy any of these paintings too, just hook me up, hit me a little, shoot me a message, whatever, we'll check it out. I have Instagram, Twitter, all that crap. But anyway, hit me on here first, probably the easiest. And, uh, yeah, until then, this has been Paul from PA Brew News, another painting with PA Brew News, episode 19, and actually got the half an hour mark pretty much down on this one, so we'll see you until then. Cheers. Bye-bye. Come on, boop.